All right, so you have some molar mass calculations here. So you have 2.5 moles of carbon, and you want to know how many grams of carbon you have. So this you can set up with 2.5 moles of carbon multiplied by, and see, this is what I got off the periodic table. So you can just use that to find that number. 12.01 uh, grams of carbon divided by one mole of carbon. So here we have the units, uh, moles of carbon uh, cancel out, and you are left with grams. So then you just plug that into your calculator, 2.5 multiplied by 12.01, and you get 3.0 grams of carbon and 2.5 moles of carbon. So you can do the opposite of that and you go from grams of carbon into moles of carbon. So right here it says you have 14.5 grams of carbon. And so you can divide by 12.01 grams of carbon divided by one mole of carbon and so then these would cross out and you would these units would flip up to the top and you'd get moles and so in this calculation you'd get 14.5 divided by 12.01 and you'd get um, 1.21 moles of carbon in 14.5 grams of carbon if you don't like to do calculations like this, you can also do it like this. 14.5 uh, grams of carbon uh, divided by 12.01 grams of carbon over one mole of carbon. And in math, uh, if you divide fractions, you can just flip it over. You just flip it and you can multiply. So you have 1.4... 14.5 grams of carbon multiplied by one mole of carbon divided by 12.01 grams of carbon. So grams of carbon cross out and you're left with moles of carbon and you get the same answer. 1.21 moles of carbon in 14.5 grams of carbon. All right, well, I hope that helped you out.